All right, guys, doing a quick review today on this little guy. This is the Speedy B BT Nano 3, and this is pretty much a Bluetooth module that you could add to any FPV drone to control all of the beta flight settings through your phone. So a couple months ago, I had a video go live where I talked about the Flywoo module that was pretty much the same thing. Um, the main difference is between the SpeedyB module that I have here and the Flywoo module that I have in my Cinewhoop currently um, is this module is a little bit smaller. It has more features. It connects to iOS better and it costs about the same as the Flywoo module. So here I have my indoor Cinewhoop. This is my real estate Cinewhoop that I use on all of my real estate FPV videos. If you guys are interested in seeing how to build this, I have a whole video on it and I'll leave a link to that right up here in the corner and down in the description. But since this is a custom build, the flight controller that I put on this drone doesn't exactly have the easiest USB access. Since this frame is meant for a board that has the USB port right here, I didn't end up using that specific board. So now in order to access the USB, I actually have to take the drone apart, which thankfully isn't too difficult on this frame. Um, and I basically pull this out and then the USB is, where's the USB? Right in here, you guys probably can't even see it, but the USB port's in there. You can't access it when the ducts are on. So this is the perfect drone to put a Bluetooth module on. Pretty much on a Cinewhoop like this where it's really tight and you don't have easy USB access, adding a Bluetooth module like this really is a game changer. Currently I have the Flywoo BT Nano V3 on this drone and it is definitely noticeably bigger than this one. Um, so I'm gonna ultimately just be swapping these. So I'm gonna take this off of here right now so you can see these two side by side. The SpeedyB module is a little bit smaller at 14 millimeters by 11 millimeters, while the Flywoo module is 13 millimeters by 16 millimeters. The difference does seem small, but when you're dealing with a small Cinewhoop um, and you're limited with space, you'll probably want to go with the one that is smaller. Looking at the Flywoo, we have a giant antenna up top here with uh, really nothing else around it. And then you have one single status LED indicator right here. On the flip side, you have four pads and that's pretty much it. You have TX, RX, ground, and voltage. Now, when we look at the Speedy B board, we have multiple LEDs over on the side here, and these are gonna tell you if the board is connected to your flight controller correctly, um, if it's connected to your phone. So you have multiple LEDs here to tell you that. Right next to that, we have the antenna, and this is a significantly smaller antenna than the one that's on the Flywoo. And when we flip it over, you can see you definitely have a lot more pads to work with. So over on this side, we have an IO7 pad, we have a PWM pad right here, and then right underneath that we have our row of main pads. So these are gonna be the main pads that you use to connect this to your drone. So we have a voltage in, and this is five volts in, ground right next to that, and then we have our TX and RX pads. Now when you're connecting this to your drone, you're gonna want the TX to hook up to RX on the flight controller, and then RX on this connect to TX on the flight controller. Right next to that we have the BT switch, and this is a pretty unique function that this um, offers but if you have this hooked up to your flight controller you can actually configure it so that on your controller um, you can program one of these switches to basically turn Bluetooth on or off. This also turns off Bluetooth automatically once the drone is armed. So since this is connected through MSP, it's gonna be able to recognize when the drone is armed and when it's disarmed. So once it's armed, it's gonna turn off the Bluetooth function automatically and you're not gonna to have to worry about any interference. I'm not really sure how much the Bluetooth signal would interfere with a video signal or your radio signal, uh, but it is nice to know that that just turns off and you don't have to worry about it interfering at all. Another thing that I really like with the SpeedyB board that isn't available on a board like the Flywoo BT Nano V3 um, is the fact that you can hook this up to a drone. So I'm going to be putting this on my real estate Cinewhoop and you can change the name of the module so that when it shows up in your phone, you know which Bluetooth device you're connecting to. So I'm going to go throw this in my Cinewhoop and I'll show you guys how all this works through the app. All right, so once you have it on your drone, obviously you guys can't see it now because it's in the drone. Technically it's hiding right in there. Um, but once you have it all hooked up to your drone, you are gonna have to plug the drone into Betaflight and make sure that you configure MSP to be on the UART that you connected it to. So I have this on UART 4. So I turned MSP on for UART 4 and I set the baud rate to 115 200. Once it's all set up in beta flight, you can put it all back together to this point right here, and now you can connect the app to your drone. All right, so this is the first time that I'm connecting this phone to this drone. 
So this is how easy it is. You open up the SpeedyB app, you go to, as you can see, the BT Nano 3 isn't on recently connected. I haven't connected it yet. Um, so we'll scroll down BLE devices, go down to where you see SpeedyB BT Nano V3, click that, immediately recognizes it. We'll hit connect, initializing. <laughs> there you go. So you don't have to connect it necessarily to Wi-Fi or key in a password or anything, or it's just kind of, you open up the SpeedyB app and there it is. So now you have control over all of the settings that you normally would in Betaflight on your phone. All right, so right now I have the drone turned on and it is connected to the SpeedyB app so I can change all the settings in here. I also have my controller on, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arm the drone and we're gonna see if it disconnects from this. So when it's connected to the Bluetooth app, uh, you won't be able to arm the drone, but as soon as you hit disconnect, the drone arms. So when the drone's armed like this, you can hit search. We're gonna be looking for the SpeedyB BT Nano V3, but it shouldn't be putting out a Bluetooth signal because it's supposed to turn off when it's armed. And it's armed right now and it's not finding it, so that's exactly what you want. So now when I disarm the drone and I hit search, it should pop up, there it is. So that is an awesome, awesome feature from uh, SpeedyB. I don't know how much that signal interferes with goggles or your radio, but it's pretty nice that they have that functionality just built right into the board. So yeah, now you can literally just configure everything through here. All right, so overall, awesome little module. If you have smaller drones like this Cinewhoop where the USB access is really tough, having a Bluetooth module that fits inside definitely helps. I love the features that SpeedyB integrated into a board this size, and compared to the older Flywoo BT Nano V3 that I was using, the SpeedyB board definitely connects to my phone a lot faster. In fact, here's a side-by-side -side of connecting the SpeedyB board to my phone versus the Flywoo board to my phone. So yeah, the SpeedyB board definitely takes the cake. For nine bucks, like I said, if you have a smaller compact build that can be difficult to connect to, highly recommend it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the SpeedyB BT Nano 3, leave me a comment down below.